Hello everyone, welcome to LT Gaming. My name is Tom and today we are playing Nox. Now Nox is a game from I think 2000 by the renowned Westwood Studios, uh, most notably I think Command and Conquer. And they made this game back then and in my opinion it is a phenomenal RPG um, that is very underrated and you don't really hear it spoken about much these days. But essentially, it has a very story-driven campaign. Um, just a quick note that I want to do a shout out to the Reddit for the Nox game and also uh, the website that is kind of corresponding to this because I couldn't get the game running until I downloaded this unofficial patch that they have. So you get the choice of three uh, main characters and each one follows like a different story. The warriors and the wizards are kind of at war, and the conjurers are like a neutral crowd. Um, so I'm just going to jump in with the conjurer, and we'll go from here. We will create a new character. We'll call him Tom Bob Conjurer. Man. And we will, of course, have a beard that is green. Sideburns, which are also green, and green t-shirt. When following your destiny's particular path, the way of the conjurer, a discreet and undetected arrival is more often the best policy, lad. Here, at the abandoned manor mines, you'll find a tunnel which takes you into the very heart of the village of Ix. Once there, you must find the Master Conjurer of Ix, Aldwins. I'll bring you no further, lad. Too many prying eyes the closer we get by air to the village of Ix. Follow the tunnel which leads to Ix. Find my old friend, Aldwin. He'll help you if he can. Take this staff. Forest beasts will heed its bite should they threaten. Careful as you go, lad. Right. And so here we are in the world of Nox. Um, and it's a really unique kind of system with this, first of all, the true line of sight, which you don't have in many games. So when you walk into a room, you know, the corners aren't visible. So this often leads to like weird ambushes and things like that. And then it's a very kind of interactive, um, map. So it's all physics based. So I think well, this is going to unstable passages ahead. Here we go. All right, thankfully the bear was hit by this rock, but you see here I can actually push the rock around. So this comes into play quite a bit in the game as a lot of spells will affect the environment around. So here we go. We'll interact here. And we've picked the Conjurer class, which is one of my favorites. So you kind of like a summoner. So I will uh, cast a spell now. And I love the casting system in this game. Um, I used to you know, make believe with these in <laughs> making all these signs as well. Uh, so this, I think, is a demonstration of here. Yeah, so I can like push this water into here and dice the flames. Break into a secret area and get the gold. So very interactive, very cool. Okay, we have our first enemy, which was killed by the pixies that I've summoned. It's an urchin there, I believe. We also got him. Getting some gold and use these mana crystals to recharge. And we have this kind of inventory system here as well. Tom Bob Kundra Man, the Initiate Kundra. Uh, but it's very cool, kind of... I think kind of Diablo-esque, like everything has a rating. Um, flimsy, sturdy, and stuff like that. So, okay, what can I do here? Jump over. We'll summon a few more pixies to my side. And 
And we have a cutscene here where we're obviously going to have to push the water barrels to clear this obstacle. Let's grab a few more up here. All right, and we're through. Reminds me a bit of Diablo there, breaking open barrels, and we grab ourselves a new spell, heal, which is always handy. But I absolutely love the combat system in this game. It's one of the things that kind of makes it. That is locked. But I, I spoke about kind of the online community before at the start of this video, but there, one of the things that is really unique about this game is the online gameplay. It's almost like an entirely different mode of, oh, just let my pixies take care of that. Um, yeah, so online mode, which has um, like these summoning stones or portals, I guess you would call them. So we've got the key to unlock that door. Let's just clear things out down here. Gold. Um, and I've, you can play like these individual levels and quests and that is like a completely different type of game. Um, and you can play it with friends now, unfortunately, I do think the online community has kind of died off. But if you do have a friend to play this game with, I would highly recommend uh, giving it a shot on the online mode. Ah! Remember, playing as the Conjurer, just always hiding behind all my creatures. Do the damage. Now, hopefully I can get to... The point in this game where I can start to take over bigger creatures. All right, full set of armor on me now. Looking pretty badass. Let's use the mana crystals to charge up. I uh, don't know if I need to walk through here, but no. And again, you see that true sight system come into play there. Particularly when you're opening doors into rooms, it can lead to like complete ambushes and stuff in the corners. Okay. Coming out of the cave, it looks like. Oh, and the gentle music of the village. If I remember, a lot of the guys are like vaguely Australian. A fine tavern is straight ahead. An excellent respite after so long a journey. Good day, mate. Thank you very much. Is your goal, do you remember? Aldwin is your goal. You cannot undertake your sacred conjurer studies without him. To find Aldwin in a village of conjurers might require getting to know the village better, so it knows you, so to speak, eh? It wouldn't hurt to get to know the mayor, since you need his permission to leave Ix when you're ready to go. But above all, keep your mind on the goal, lad. Aldwin, find Aldwin. Okay. So, as you can see, a very story-driven game um, in the campaign. Greetings, citizens of Ix. I and... come bearing gifts for the future subjects of my queen, Hecuba. This is the introduction of the villain uh, for the story, Hecuba. Oh, that is disgusting looking. Oh, Jesus. Getting the shit kicked out of him there. Alright. Ew, I watched that huge spider crawl right into Mayor Theogren's house. Alright, thank you, Christine. But this is the village of X, which I love. Um, I also really like the wizard's town, I believe it is. It's like very medieval -y and charming. But I think I, I know where to go, and for the purpose of this video, I'll just go straight there. Uh... Alright, thank you, mate. Now, I'll talk to... I think he's like super Australian. Oh, sorry, my 
<laughs> Sorry, mate. Alright, so he gives you a quest here. And for the, I wanted to kind of play this through in this video. To show you some of the Conjurer's skills. His main skill set is like getting control of many creatures. Secret Gold Stash. And here we enter... I got a cool map kind of feature as well. A, I think they're like procedurally generated. I'm not sure. That Nurchin cave. Basically, I have to get through this to find my way to Aldwin. So, oh, I've somehow. Oh, I've run out of magic, which is not good against these urchins. So I'm going to have to rely on my staff. Alright, give him a bit of a beating. Oh, ruby key, perfect. Alright, this is like a treasure room, I think. They were easy enough to beat. So, right now I'm relatively underpowered. We'll equip the sturdy staff. I think that does more damage. I think there are stats to everything. Like in mini games. I think you, yeah, there you go. You can see the base damage and stuff like that. So that becomes important later when you're getting tons of different items with different effects to kind of monitor. All right, kill all these guys. I'm gonna speed run this a little bit. Come here, little bastard. There you go. The reason I'm just trying to run through this is to get to the exit so I can show you guys some of the skill set that the Conjurers have, which I don't learn until I meet Aldwin. But there's like a ton more you can do. I'm really just running through it quite quickly. Using those mana stones. Heal myself. And I think this is Alvin's place. There we go. Greetings. I am Master Conjurer Alvin. Yes. Very well. This book has a spell to charm creatures. You must stay nearby. Take the Alright, there we go. So now you can there is the main ability to summon creatures, but also you have charm. So I think There you go. And here's my army, and I can start to kind of give them orders to hunt or guard or whatever. So we will guard me for now. Oh, wait, no. I need them to escort me. And I can build up uh, a nice little bunch of them as we go. Ah! Protect me! All right, we're up to three. I think I can have one more. All right, and now I have a full-blown little army. Spits to defend. I won't send them off to hunt because... Oh. They might uh, die. And I'll be left stranded. No defense. But as you get more creatures, there are like really powerful creatures you can get. This makes this mechanic really fun. Ah, I don't have the scroll for these guys, so... Get them, guys. There we go. And I think I'm back in X. And my spiders are with me. So... I will end the video there. I think I've kind of showcased um, 
some of the cool mechanics. Uh, the wizard and warrior have completely different mechanics, so um, you can look at those yourself. Uh, if there's a lot of interest in this video, I will take a look at also the multiplayer aspects of the game. And again, a big shout out to the online resources, uh, particularly on the Reddit, where I was able to get this game working. Right now, it's super cheap. Um, I paid, I think, a Euro 50 on GOG. So definitely take a look, pick it up. It's super fun. The campaign is really fun. And then there is a lot of repayability with the kind of questing solo as well. And the different kind of the three different branches of the quest you can play. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and like, uh, drop a like, subscribe, and comment uh, as this is all helping us grow super quick. Thank you. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.